All right, guys. So looking at another um, imaging modality. All right, this one is basically done at the mediastinum. Hence the name mediastinoscopy. All right, done at the mediastinum. Do you understand? So the scope you use is those what's known as what mediastinoscope. So you put it right at the mediastinum where there's an incision. And you can basically get to access anything you want. So this method is a minimally invasive surgical procedure. Minimally invasive meaning that you don't really need to cut the person open. It's just a little area that is needed. Okay. So it is used to examine the mediastinum. That's the area between the lungs that contain the heart, the esophagus, the trachea, and other vital structures. Okay. So the purpose is this mediastinoscopy is primarily performed just to diagnose and stage lung cancer. So it's done mostly where you want to access for lung cancer, okay? Or it could be lymphoma, or it could be any other condition that is affecting the mediastinum. So it allows the doctor to take tissue samples or remove lymph nodes for examination. That's lymph node biopsy, okay? So the procedure was um, a small incision is made above the sternum, that's breastbone, and a mediatinoscope, that's a thin tube with a light and camera, is inserted into the mediastinum. All right. So this provides for a clear view of the area, and any necessary tissue samples or leaf nodes can now be taken from the area. Okay. So recovery, we said that recovery from mediastinoscope is generally quickly with most patients being discharged the same day or the next day. So um, some soreness or discomfort may be experienced, but serious complications are actually rare for mediastinoscopy. Right? So for the risks, as with any surgery, the risks include bleeding, infection, damage to surrounding structures. Okay. However, these risks are relatively low too. Okay. So that's it for mediatinoscopy.